Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And here I have a great article for you guys from Light Reading. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys can check it out. So Crown Castle to accelerate small cell pace in 2024. T-Mobile has a very great partnership and relationship with Crown Castle. That's who's been, you know, deploying their lip fiber. So although in the Verizon video, I talked about Verizon having the advantage on the uh, scale of small cells and the experience because they simply do. You know, they, they have been deploying small cells for a very long time because they had the most users with the, with the smallest spectrum portfolio. So they had to continue to support their base. So they, can, they did that with a lot of densification, a lot of, you know, from the macro side, but they also did a ton of small sales. And now T-Mobile, they could potentially, you know, be getting into that same type of uh, pace as well. You know, they did have, as part of the merger plans, 50,000 small cells that they were going to deploy. They have about 23 or so thousand in the network today, but that was mostly strand mounts. And they deployed them in just really like huge usage areas where they had big share, big usage. You know, I've seen some in Chicago, LA, El Paso. We have a ton of strand mounts. We had like 200. So they, they were deploying them like in 2017, 2018 to just offset congestion because they loaded up the network and, and they sold it. In my opinion, by my estimation, they sold it beyond what they had on air. That's That was T-Mobile's issue. And they were going to run into an even bigger issue if they didn't get the sp uh, Sprint merger to go through. But they got that to go through. So that was good to see, right? We got that. So now it looks like there is a possibility. Of course, no carriers mentioned in the accelerated plans. But there is a possibility that T-Mobile now starts accelerating their small cell deployments in 2024. Their, their macro builds have to be largely complete. They've upgraded sites to get to the 300 million pops with 2.5. They did most of the macro densification with the Sprint Keep sites. There's, there's, so, there's some more out there, I'm sure. But, you know, majority, like 80 plus percent of them have to have, to have been completed. So they're, they're going to be at the 85,000 macro mark. And most of those are in the urban core, right? They started densifying very early on. And they have, you know, they have way more towers on air versus Verizon and AT&T. So now it looks like there is a possibility that T-Mobile will complement that macro grid with small cells. You know, I, on Reddit, I've seen some, uh, they're starting to deploy them in Florida, New York City. I'm waiting to see what, what plans they have planned for El Paso to offload additional, you know, capacity onto the small cell. So the macro is freed up. That's what I'm waiting to see. You know, I want to really see, are they going to get out in front of any potential congestion? And how do they view the, the, the congestion, right? Are they looking at it from a, you know, 12 months? For example, Verizon, they start planning and st strategically planning 18 months ahead of, you know, potential congestion. That's how good these new tools are and technology that they're using. It can tell them 18 months ahead of time, like, hey, look, in, in 18 months, you're going to run into congestion issues in this area. That's, that's you know, a very great projection model. And I'm sure T-Mobile has something very similar. They said they're starting to use AI. So they, they, they got to have these same type of projections and AT&T as well. That has to show them, okay, I just don't know when they act on it, right? Verizon said they act on it right at the 18 months. T-Mobile, it could be 12 months, right? They see it at 18 months that, hey, look, this is what's going to happen in 18 months if you don't if you don't start, you know, putting more sites and small sales and T-Mobile could be like, "Okay, we're going to wait until the 12 month mark or we're going to wait until we have to see band and DOD on air to see what the projection models are, you know, how they differ when additional spectrum is on air." So there's lots of ways for T-Mobile to to um to offset congestion for now, right? Eventually, when they get that C-band DoD deployed to scale, rather that's 2024, 2025, whenever, that's going to saturate too with time. They're growing at a clip of like 3 million postpay customers a year. That's a lot of usage back into the network. And they're not slowing down anytime soon. And they're getting to their target of 7 to 8 million fixed wireless access users that pull from that same capacity. 
So they have to keep building. So I think, you know, I, I talked about it in the Verizon video. Verizon already has a ton of small sales out there. So I don't know if they're a part of this acceleration plan. Are they a part of a plan? I'm sure they are. You know, a few thousand here and there. But if there's like, let's say, 40, 50,000 small sales that are going to be deployed per this acceleration plan, Verizon is probably not on it because they don't need that many more. They already have a ton of them in the, in the network. You know, Verizon is going to start upgrading what they already have. So they may not have to deploy as many. But T-Mobile, they got to get going. They got to start upgrading legacy stuff. The legacy DAS systems they got out, the legacy strand mounts, they got to get N41 on that as quickly as they as they possibly can. And then start, you know, strategically looking at, okay, how do, where do I want to place the small cells? Who do I hire as an ILEC to deploy the fiber to that small cell? You know, they got to start strategically um, planning all this out. And Crown Castle by history, is a great partner, is a partner of T-Mobile. So maybe they got some stuff cooking in the background. We'll definitely keep an eye out and we'll see what happens in 2024. So make sure you guys stay tuned for more. Like, share, subscribe, follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Live. See y'all in the next one. Peace.